Hello everyone, my name is The Ultimate Spy, and welcome to another episode of Reviewed. Reviewed number 186, and today I am joined by my mom and dad, and we are going to be reviewing the movie Muppet Treasure Island. <laughs> So what did you guys think of Muppet Treasure Island? Let's go with you. Well, it's definitely one of my favorites. And it, and it, was, a, it was a family favorite when you guys were kids. I just always thought it was really, really clever. I love the, the musical format for it. And just, the, you know, one of the things I noticed this time that I had never realized before is there aren't that many participants in the movie. I mean, there's yeah. like maybe four puppeteers in that thing. You know, that, that do all of those puppets. And then there's the human yeah. actors. There's the Tim Curry and the, what's the boy's name, that actor? Jim Hawkins. Yeah, but the, the plays Jim Hawkins. I don't what's his name? I can't I Bishop, know. something Bishop. I don't know the actor. Yeah, it, the, his last name is Bishop. But, and I don't know what he did after that. But, so that was a big surprise to me that there were so few actors. I mean, you know, it was like maybe six people. That because they saw the credits. You're, yeah, when when they did the credits, because oh, ben, Billy Connolly only is in the very first part of it. <gasps> That's right. Billy yeah. Connolly is in the right yeah, yeah, because yeah, he he's dies right away. He's well, that part and, and the innkeeper herself. Oh yeah, she was yeah. great. She was but, I mean, those, okay, those so then I'm, yeah, I'm wrong about six. after after they after they leave. That's the end of. Mm -hmm. What do you especially like about it? I think that for me, what I love is the funny little bits. I mean, like some of my favorite things in that movie are like the, the rat cruise. Henry <laughs> um, who who is it? Rizzo is selling Rizzo. tickets, Rizzo. tickets to the cruise, and they're all dancing. God goes like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, yeah, and Margarita. Is that midnight? That day. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, obviously it's Muppets, and so the humor. I have never actually read Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. Right? You? Yes. You were, okay, so like, how how true is that script to the book? I mean, what does it pull that's uh, actually in that you book? You pull out Piggy, and you pull out Kermit. <laughs> yeah, the rest of it's all right. So you so you have like Captain Smollett. Yeah. The teetotaling Captain Smollett. I don't know that he was teetotaling in the book. It's been so many decades since I've read it. Yeah. But you certainly don't have a piggy character. <laughs> There's no... That, um, that's a whole different thing. I don't boom Shakalika. I, oh I don't think that... The, I mean, I don't recall any women in this tale at all, which is typical of that era. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what did you not like about it? I know there's not really anything you can... I mean, I personally could not really think of anything... But there's always some, I mean, I got like 73%, which is really good, but that means like 27% did not like it. So what do you think that, well, what are the single percent of what? Of the audience okay. did not like it. <laughs> it's been a family favorite for a really long time, sure. and so I have such fond feelings of like you guys being really little and watching it and us watching it together, and oh, I yeah. think... Um, it came out the year you were born or the year after you were born. The yes, year you were born. It came out the year crazy. you were born. Right? So your siblings all watched it as young children. And then, and so did you. You grew into it. But I mean, like, we got it. Was it on VHS? We got, we, yeah, we got it on VHS I think it's right gone. after it came oh, yeah. out. Right? Like, the year that you were born. Wow. And, um, and then Bill watched it growing up. So I have really fond feelings for it that way. I did find this time around, because it had been so many years since I watched it, it felt a little slow. Yeah. This time. Yeah. And I, you know, and maybe it's because I knew it pretty well, and so that there was there was a, a certain amount of drag, but I don't know that... So pacing? Maybe. Could be yeah. better? I don't know if it could have been better. I mean, that might also be a function of me just having seen it so many times and knowing all the jokes, and you know, there's like nothing new to see. There wasn't anything. Uh, there wasn't much that I didn't remember. I mean, I suppose like all the stuff with the black spot. I guess yes. I, I had forgotten all about the black spot. And the, <laughs> um, you know, the guy like dying at the beginning of the movie before they go off to hunt for the dread treasure. Yeah. Um, but there, there was a certain amount of like, oh, this is, you know, it's dragging a little bit. Yeah, but. Um, Okay. I don't know. How about you? Was there Thank you. Well, I mean, the, the things that I love, of course, 
Bush and the jerks, and I yeah. adore Billy Conley and anything <laughs> that I've ever seen him in. So that first part of the movie is one of my favorites. And singing, uh, singing pirates. But and then of course there are all those jokes. You know, you 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 killed that Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that Tom is dead. <laughs> Like, well, it's called the Tom. But as far as yes, the the movie is is slow, but it matches my recollection of the book. Mm-hmm. That. Well, that's um, true. It's also I mean, and when you're trying to tell the tale with the Muppets, yeah. it's a different it's a different kind of a cut than you would for another kind of an action movie. It's also a comedy, so you don't. <laughs> You don't have that bang, 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 bang kind of stuff that goes on that you do in an action film mm-hmm. kind of thing. So, well, I would agree with you on the pacing, but I don't know that a recut of it would make a lot of difference as far as that goes. The movies, the, you know, all of the Muppet movies could have been condensed. Mm-hmm. And that's part of, you know, part of what Jim Henson wanted was yeah. he likes to tell the tales in a certain way. The one scene that they could have cut because I'm like, what? Why? Why is this unnecessary? Cabin Fever. It yeah, Cabin Fever. Sense. It's like, what? Okay, fun song, but why does it need to be in this? I get it. They're like going crazy, but like, seriously, a whole song about it. <laughs> That's true. That it felt you know, unnecessary. It's like okay, fun, but well, none, it's a musical. I, yeah, none I get of it. the musical numbers. Have to be in there. I just felt like it was a bit unnecessary to have this thing about how you be. Well, there's, I mean, obviously there must be a part in the book where they hit the doldrums. Sure. And yeah. it goes on and on. Yeah. You know, of course. And that's it's some, much shorter. It's, it's, it's a much shorter in, in the movie than it is in the book. I certainly thought the song was really fun. Like the beginning, that was so good. That oh, yeah. The, that where they're hauling the treasure. I had forgotten that part entirely. Like, it's like the first time I've seen it in like so many years, like, I didn't even realize that was a part of the movie. Well, I, yeah, I, I loved all the little features of the island, you know, the little crabs popping up and talking, it's and just the singing. shells, and the rocks are singing, and <laughs> the, the skulls. skulls are singing. <laughs> Everyone's singing. You know, it's, I mean, Muppets are just so delightful. You took puppetry mm-hmm. from no, Jim I, Henson's teacher. puppet teacher. No, it wasn't Jim Henson's, it was Frank Oz's. Okay puppetry teacher because he was a graduate he had started it on his theater degree at the University of Washington almost positive it's on us and then he left because a handsome new took him with him to, to start Sesame Street and he came back to finish his degree and Alan Tanetti said she would be willing to do that, but only if he gave her a Muppet pattern. I certainly like the uh, the chemistry between Jim and Long John. Was I mean, not only that, but Tim Curry, he must have been so much fun in that role. You can tell. Like, he's just laughing. He's just like, yeah. he's having a blast playing that character. And he's such a good actor. Yeah. Well, also, the guy Tim Curry, like, Jim yeah. is amazing too, because, like, he. He can really do it. It's a really good, it's a really good job. I know. I'm very curious about what he did after that. I mean, I uh-huh. I thought I would look him up on IMDb, but I, I never did. But he had a very sweet voice, and I wonder, oh, yeah. you know, if he was able to keep that voice after it changed. If he still went on singing, I yeah, definitely like the yeah, lot of the chemistry so. between those two actors were really good. With the bishop, because and, again, Tim Curry that was a great well, guy, so. He did. He did. He did a good job not only with Tim Curry, but also with the. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of great chemistry between, you know, Jim Hawkins and Bill Bunks. Mm-hmm. Right. As, mm-hmm. You know, just like there was between Jim Hawkins and Long John Silver. Is Jim Hawkins that young in Treasure Island? He's a cabin boy. Just kidding. Yeah. Is, but is he like 12 years old? Is that. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be typical. I think it was interesting combining the store like Treasure Island with Muppets. I mean, they, they, they do it all the time with different stories, but this one, like, I definitely feel like it was, because I haven't really seen Treasure Island as a whole, but, like, I, you know, I know the story. You should read the book. I should, yeah, but, like, it's long. I definitely feel like it was the best version of that story 
Because they add Muppets, and Muppets makes everything better. I think that when Henson put his head to taking a known story and turning it into a Muppet story, that he did some incredible oh, yeah. character work mm -hmm. when he did that. Now you realize this one was a Brian Henson movie. This was, I think, the first... Well, well so Brian was his son, and then Jim Henson died oh. in 1990, I believe. So before the 90, 90, 92, early wow. 90s. So I think, now I may be completely off base here, but I think that Muppet Treasure Island was maybe the first the Brian first Henson. Brian. Wow, Muppet movie. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Be. But I, you know, the Henson Workshop production, I think that that's when Henson Productions, Henson Workshop, takes a story, regardless, takes a story and a known story yes. and puts their own twist on it mm -hmm. rather than creating a new story. Yeah. I think that they've they take a, a classic. A classic yeah. mm -hmm. They modify it and I think that seems to work better than some of the other ones where they wrote a custom. I definitely feel like there's a lot of fun on this in this movie, but one of the really that was that made was a uh, Long John like offering Alcohol, and they're like, "Oh, we can't have it. Oh, we can't. Okay, oh, we can't have it. Okay." Oh, that was just funny. Yeah, that was, a, that that was a good bit. Yeah, yeah. throw out the alcohol. No, wait, you can't have it. Oh, you, you can't. Oh, okay. Oh, you can't have it. Oh, okay. This <laughs> family, really? And then the rats come and say he's wrecking the shuffleboard deck. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And then Gonzo gets his arms stretched out. Gonzo's arms. This is so cool. <laughs> It's like, how do you handle a torture scene in a movie for children? <laughs> or even like, it's like, what Gonzo is. Like, basically, Gonzo saying, I'm whatever. I'm a whatever. Yeah. Because they don't know who he is. Well, like, then they do the, 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 the window blind treatment. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Well, it was also, I mean, one of my favorite lines in that movie is Sam the Eagle coming in as they're torturing Gonzo Rizzo and saying, This does not look safe. <laughs> Torture yeah. <laughs> rarely is. Also, I read the fourth wall a lot so many times. I didn't even think about that. Like, like I think that Rizzo was saying, like, this is supposed to be a kids' movie. Yeah. Or like, this is the location where they shot Muppet Treasure Island. I'm like, really? Yeah, constant, really? Constant. Does that is that in there? Yeah. This is the location where they shot Muppet Treasure Island. It's the constant breaking of the fourth wall. It's so funny. I love it. It's like it's the best because it's like it's so perfect. Well, this has been a lot of fun, Tom. Yeah, I really, really thought this movie was tremendous. Yeah. I didn't have any lot of problems. Honestly, aside from me pacing, it was pretty much perfect. Well, I, you know, I think it's a pretty much perfect movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, time. yeah. So I, I'd say, in my opinion, I would give it a, I don't know, like, because the pacing was a little bit off, so I get 9 out of 10. That's it. Oh, I'm going to give it a 10. Okay. But I'm always going to give that movie a 10. I love that movie. Yeah. How about you? Probably 10. Still give it 10. I just think I'm going to cut it off for pacing because it was, you know, pacing could have been a little Nah, bit. I'd still give it a 10. Because it's, it's, it's Muppet Treasure Island. Okay, okay. okay. Well, well, thanks for having us. Oh, yeah, it was so fun. I really, really enjoyed it. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of Reviewed. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure, as always. It's good to have you. I'm my dad for the first time in a review. It's fantastic. I, I, I wanted to make sure I picked a movie that everyone would want to watch because it's fantastic. Yeah, though, so. yeah anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Review. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. We all really do appreciate it. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe for more episodes of this series and of the series that I do, as well as other great content. Also, make sure to click that bell to enable alerts so you don't miss any of my uploads. And I'll be back next time with another episode. Great. Right? See ya. Thank <laughs> you.